Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to rotate an image to fit it into a picture like we have here with this Happy Mother's Day sign on this billboard. All right, first thing I'll do is just to get rid of that layer, hit the trash can, and get rid of that. There we go. Then I'll bring up the Mother's Day card image, and I'll just float that right out here. Now, the easy way to get this image over here is simply to take the background layer and just drag it and drop it right like that. There we go. So far, so good. Now, pull this down so that you can see the upper left-hand corner. And then use the Control T keyboard shortcut to show your control handles. And then grab that corner and pull that down a bit, make the image smaller so we can get it to fit. I'm going to be first fitting the bottom of this, and I'll position the bottom left-hand corner like that. Get that about where I want it. We're then going to rotate this image. Notice if you come outside of a corner here, you get this kind of a bent double arrow thing. When you see that, you can click and drag. And you can then rotate your image just like that and get it so it looks like it's lined up and then move it back into position. If you're a little bit off, you can come in and do a little bit more rotation on that. There you go, and that looks pretty good. You also can, if you need to really fine tune that, go up here and you can adjust your angle right here. Say I wanted to have it just a little bit further up, I could simply change these last numbers in here. I'll change this to a 3.2 just for a slight tweak on that rotation. Let's now get our bottom to fit properly and for that I'll grab the upper right hand corner and I'll pull up on that and that makes it larger without changing that bottom alignment. And I'll pull it over here to the right hand side so I now have my bottom two corners lined up. But even with that rotation it's still not correct as you can see. So we need to distort the image to fit it into this odd perspective that you always get in photographs. So for that, go up to the Edit menu, come down to Transform, and change your Transform down here to Distort. And this allows you to grab a corner and then put it anywhere you want. So just place your top left-hand corner right up like that. There we go. And take your top right-hand corner and pull that in. I like to pull it in past where I need to go so I can actually see that, and then I'll move back up into that position. There we go. Hit the check mark. Well, now it's more text onto the billboard. I'll grab the type tool here and let's set our type color to black just to start off with. Come down bottom left hand corner like that. There we go. And click any place in here and you get a little basic insert text. I'm going to start off with just typing in the first part of my text. You can now double click on this and then let's adjust our size and get it down to a better size. And I think pretty small on this one, maybe a 10 point. And that's pretty good. And let's finish off our text. I'll put it down here so I can see it more easily. Double click and then click down to the end. Type in the rest of the line. Just like that. Back to our move tool and position that up here. Now it's, as you can see, also not rotated correctly and it's the wrong color for what I want. So I'm going to double click on this. Click on the color swatch and this time it's come down and describe a color right off of our billboard here. I think that looks pretty good. Choose OK. Now I want to rotate this as well to line up with that bottom. We can do the exact same trick. Use the Control T keyboard shortcut to bring up our control handles. Come just outside any of our corners here and you can then rotate that text around until it lines up properly with the bottom of the billboard. Position it right in here somewhere. And that I think looks pretty good right there. OK, if you like this video, hit the like button and I'll see you next time.